Hi, it's Joe Lines, and I want to demonstrate using text magic to automate your text. Uh, yeah, I, I come from a background sending emails where I used to send over e a million emails a month, and um, the performance of that, you know, varies significantly if on the response rate, depending on, uh, you know, if the people are expecting something from you, how relevant your message is to them, um, and whatnot. And the problem is, for the most part, people think email, it's not a one-to-one -one thing, and uh, anything that you really think it should be, really, the more you can make it a one-to-one -one personal thing, the better it's going to work. Um, so texting is one of those things. It's still, some people realize now they're automated, but for the most part, people still, when you write it personally and you do a good mail merge and pipe in fields like, hi, Joe, how are you doing today in Capel, the city, like the city you're living in, right? And pipe in relevant stuff. They really feel like a person is texting me and they'll, they'll write back or they'll maybe click the link or whatever. Um, so texting is amazing. I, I get like 80% click-through rates and response rates to when I text people. Um, there, there are a couple options that are that are pretty cool. Uh, Push Bullet and Mighty Text, and um, I think it's called Your Phone on Windows 10, um, are things if you have an Android, you can actually connect to your phone and send messages through your phone. Um, Mighty Text in Windows 10, they don't have a way to that I'm aware of to do mail merge stuff. Um, Push Bullet in the default tool they give you doesn't have a way to do mail merge stuff, but it does allow you to um, to do other things. And they do have an API where you can make a program yourself, which is what we did. We're, we're developers, right? Me and uh, my person in my business. Um, but um, that's what's great about Text Magic is Text Magic allow, has a, um, a program that does mail merging for you. It's robust. It's very easy to use. They also have an um, iPhone and an Android app that you can look on your phone, and which looks very similar to the program running on your PC. Um, they don't have a, a Mac version of it, but they do have um, the PC version. And then uh, the 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 app is really good. You can do mail merge stuff in it. The, the hardest part will be creating your list if you have a lot of people. And that one, you know, you can just use Excel, create a text uh, tab limited file, or well, actually they want CSV or an Excel file. And I'm gonna demonstrate this importing one and doing it just to get an idea. So you still could do some complex mailings, even with just um, an iPhone, if you don't have a, um, a PC to run it on. Having said that, I'm gonna demonstrate it on a PC because it's just it's just a lot easier. So um, the, the other things is it is four cents per message, both inbound and outbound. And that's per message when I say message of uh, it's up to 160 characters, right? Because uh, they charge you per character. That's just how texts work. Um, and uh, so let's go ahead and get going here. Um, I'm going to first start off with my list just to show you. Here's my list. And, and I have some standard fields of first name, last name, maybe the city you're in, a due date. Let's say I'm because I'm a landlord, right? And I want to text people. Um, these are some real phone numbers. I made these two up. Um, but so maybe we'll actually do a, a text and uh, although I'm not sure if this one, this is my Google voice number. I think it um, gets flagged as a, uh, a landline, um, but you'll see this is the contact. So let me, and let me go ahead. I'm going to keep this up here so we can see it. So that's an Excel file I have saved. And now I'm going to um, pull up text magic. And of course, the first thing you really want to do is to build a list, right? So I'm going to go to my, let's go to lists and I'm going to add a list. I'm going to say import contacts, then you need to choose the file. Um, here's my example right here. And what you have to do, this works the same way in almost anything you do this, is that uh, you need to um, map the characters. Oh, there's a step here. Are all the numbers in the in the US? Yes, they are. Um, do I want to exit landline numbers? This is if you're not sure if it's a phone, a land cell phone or not, um, you can click this and it will, it, the, here's the, the crazy part is, uh, they will programmatically go check to see if that phone is a landline versus a cell phone. If it's a landline, it doesn't send the text, so it quote, quote, saves you money. However, the fee to detect if it is a landline costs you just about as much as it would to send it to it. Um, so if you're gonna send multiple times to a list, then it's worth selecting this button. If you're not gonna send multiple times, um, then you maybe don't wanna do this. But if you are, then you wanna click this. Um, I'm not gonna click it because like I said, I think my uh, my Google voice number drops out, uh, but you can have it um, clean it for you. Um, so that's built into it. Now it tries to, let's see here, exclude first row. Yeah, exclude first row because I have headers. Um, and then you map, it's showing me, this is my file. And notice this is right here, right? This is my file. Um, it has first name because I have these fields. I've used them before. So it actually, because it, I've used them before, it mapped it to them, map city, but notice this one didn't get mapped. So I'm going to come down here 
Here we go, create new one, and that's gonna be due date. So let's say I, I have rent coming up or something, and of course it might be slightly different or you know whatever, it's just an example. Um, phone numbers, you might have the names of their kids, you know, who knows what the products they've bought from you, whatever it is, right? Um, it's a really great functionality to be able to do this kind of stuff. So, okay, we can move this up here, hit continue. Now it's importing them. You'll actually get an email with a log of you know, what happened, um, which is all fine and good. It's a, it's a very robust tool. Um, I'll, I'll give them credit for that. It's, it's it's really, I've seen other ones, I've tried them, and honestly, the, all the other ones were, they were not, <laughs> uh, robust isn't even a term that comes near what they do. Um, okay, it's now in progress. We're, hopefully we'll be done here soon. Oh, here we go, continue. I can't, there we go. All right, so let's see if everyone, it looks like no, nobody failed, no duplicate numbers detected, because of course you wouldn't want to load them more than one time. We got four, these are them, here's your dates. Um, finish importing, great, everything looks good. All right, now what we're gonna do is up here, and, and honestly you know what I'll do is I'll pull this up on my phone and show you how similar um, they are on the phone versus in the web version. It's really cool. Uh, but first I'm gonna pick that list, so this is who I'm gonna send it to. Um, text magic example list. Okay, add one list. Now I've just added it, you'll see it pop up here. Come on, I don't know what happened. I, apparently I'm missing something, let me try this one more time. Is there something? No, add one list. Oh, zero contacts. That's the wrong list. Duh. Um, oh, this is mine. I didn't, it, it didn't keep the name. Okay, that's why. Add one list. Great. So now we see it up here, right? Um, and default, so you go in and you should, um, at some point you go and buy a phone number, which is like $4, I think they're pretty cheap. It's a one-time cost. So um, I'll just send it from that one. And here's where you start writing your customized message, right? So you'd say like, hi, and now check this out. You say, hi, insert tag, and it shows you what you can pull from, right? Hi, first name. How are things in? And this is where I had the name of the city, right? So in city, question mark. Just wanted to send a friendly, which I can't spell, reminder that rent was due. And here I'm gonna insert the due date. There it is, due date. Um, friend, let's see if I can get it. There we go, okay. Um, now what's really cool I like is I can hit preview message it is gonna go through every one of these. So hi, Linda, right? And here is Linda. Linda is in Dallas. We can see it right here, right? So there's Dallas and her rent is due on 4-7. There's 4-7. Um, and here is her Linda's number, uh, 3421. 3421, so Linda Jones, right? Um, the other cool thing I didn't mention is after you've imported them, if you have other information about them, like the address and everything, it's stored in your quote unquote database. So if people call you, um, or text you, you can see it on your phone. You can see like the city they're in, the, the apartment number, whatever it is, whatever you put in your database, you'll have that at your hands um, in your phone. So it's really convenient. Um, so that's the first one. Let's Linda, there's John Smith. Hi, John. John is in Irving, his due date's four five. Um, phone number is that number, great. Next one is me. Uh, um, in Capel, due date's 4-2, yep. And the last one was Ken Starr in Fort Worth, great. So now it actually says we're done, so we can go back to editing. Now I can actually hit send. Now I'm not gonna hit send because, um, well, those other two, I don't know them, and um, those, I made up the numbers, so theoretically they shouldn't go through. Uh, let's come in here, let me come in here and see if I can do this. Import, import. Let me get rid of that's these those two are mine. I'm gonna get rid of these two because those aren't actually real phone numbers. And now when I come back into compose, it actually will keep 
they kept who I was going to now notice there's two here it is and if we do the preview again it's gonna it's just gonna have uh, the John and the Joe so that's it now I'm gonna go ahead and hit send and now one of these let's have two successfully went to two recipients um, let me see my phone here sometimes it takes like a minute or so to come through and uh, we're gonna wait for this to come up all right so uh, my text came through it actually took a couple minutes which was surprising I'd say like four or five minutes uh, but whatever it still goes out um, this by the way is my cell phone here I can pull it over um, I'll show you the webcam I'm actually just mirroring it on the computer so you can you can see it it'll be a nice recording instead of trying to look at it through my webcam um, unfortunately I, I got the cable tied up here but there we go so you can see um it, that's that's the actual text from my my phone and and here an important part is i'm gonna and now you can watch me as i'm typing on my phone it's just one of the things i love too i'm saying great send it back um and let's get back into text magic um when i come into chats uh we're gonna see you know what let me move it over here so we don't show anybody's uh I have other my other company stuff there that I, I just want to make sure I don't end up showing. Oh, great. Um, so it came back through. Um, Ian, now let me actually show you here. I'm going to use the, the app. This is going to get a little confusing. So that's the, the texting on my phone. But as I said, I have TextMagic installed, the app installed on my phone. And so here, um, this is within TextMagic, right? I can see this. And look, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to compose a new message. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. New. Um, enter a number of contact or a, I think it's supposed to say list. Lists. There we go. That was the, the list. Oh, and now you can see I just got that reply. Right. Thread. Okay. Oops. There we go. So that's selected. Um, type your message so here this is if if you were let's say you were running it from your uh your iphone um thank you and then i'm going to put in first name um i know i can do a tag here we go insert tag first name and i don't recall if there is a way to preview preview message here we go so That's interesting. I don't actually see preview message. I think. Well, let me just go ahead and hit send. Send, bulk send. So there, I just did that from my phone, right? So as I said, you can actually do everything from your phone or from the desktop app. Let me get back into the, well, you know what I sh else I should show is, uh, let me start up this. I'll go to Hangouts, which is where I would have gotten the, uh, um, the text message uh, in Hangouts as well, because it's my Google Voice number. So anyway, um, it, it's a great program. Uh, it's it's pretty intuitive. Once you get used to it, it takes a little bit of work, but it, uh, you know, setting up your phone number is pretty easy, uh, deciding how you're gonna send stuff, but the, uh, the impact is amazing, right? That you can actually uh, get people to respond to you, automate sending to a bunch, yet it feels personalized. Um, it's, it's, it's just a great tool. Uh, let me let me go see if there's anything else in here we want to look at. Um, yeah, you can set up a lot of stuff. You can see your history. Oh, the other really important thing I wanted to, to point out, which if we look in here, let me get back into my my. Um, oh, I guess I closed it. The um. My phone. Let's see if it'll pull up here real quick. Mobizen is what I use for uh, connecting to my phone. <laughs> All right, so we're back into the phone. What I wanted to demonstrate here is, uh, let me minimize the the program itself and close all. Now you'll notice here in my chats, um, these messages didn't come through. The ones obviously to me did, but um, the messages don't show up here. They show up in your um, text magic. I think it's up here uh, in the actual app. And what's great about this? 
text magic. Here we go. Yeah, this is where you can see your messages come through. Um, your chats, history. I think someone here too. I can see history. Um, you can also have a call forwarding done. So here, here is the 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 ones we just did. Uh, but what's great about this is if you have a work phone, even you can have your personal phone and still have your work phone yet keep your personal life separate. So I love that I don't have those coming through on my personal stuff. So I can choose when I look at these messages and when I don't, right? The other great thing is you can have multiple people looking at these texts because like my partner logs in with the, uh, the desktop version as well, right? And he can see who's replied back and either one of us can reply. They still feel it's the same person, yet it frees you up, right? You don't have to worry about where is my phone and I left it somewhere and other people can do this stuff for you. So I hope that helps. It's a, it's a great tool. Um, if you have you get stuck on something, let me know and I can try to help you it out. Thank you. Bye.